Hello, here I am at Descanso Gardens, one of the most beautiful gardens in Los Angeles. It has streams and the largest camellia collection in North America. I like areas with trees, water, flowers, and reflections. I often walk around a while to pick a spot where I'd want to paint, based on how many design elements are present in the area. I decided on this spot because it had trees and water and reflections and azaleas were blooming nearby. I start by drawing with a fountain pen. Often I do sketches in a book beforehand, but you'll see me here just drawing directly on the canvas. Sketching allows me to figure out the composition. There's several different types of compositions. Today I'm going to do what's called a radiating composition. A radiating composition has the center point or some point off of center and all of the lines in the painting come radiate out from that center. Here I have a lot of sky that I want to put in first uh, and I do it in sort of an abstract geometric way. I choose different colors to do the sky, but a lot of it is sky blue. Then I start adding some of the tree colors. You can see here I use sap green, red medium cadmium, a light green, uh, some Hansa yellow, uh, some red deep. A lot of white is important and some burnt umber as well as some regular umber. And uh, sometimes I use alizarin crimson to mix with the greens to get sort of that look you find in oak trees, which have quite a bit of red. I also use purple. You can see in this time-lapse photo that the radiating composition is really starting to come together. Um, the purpose of this sort of composition is it leads your eye throughout the painting. The water here is a good lead-in to the painting. It's a strong triangular shape. Um, and then the the trees guide you around the painting in different directions. It's very important that I keep the sky and the trees as organizational frameworks in the top, but both of the trees and the sky are sort of cool blue colors, so I'm happy to add the reds of the azaleas. Sometimes I add a little bit of violet to the sky as well, just so that it's not quite as cool. When painting water, trees, and sky, it's always a great idea to have warm colors. That's why I like painting in autumn or in summer when there's a lot of flowers blooming. I mix my paint on a separate palette from where I store it. And uh, at the end, I clean that palette really well because it's sort of a neutral grayish color that allows me to mix paints without having them contaminated. The cover of my palette is often sort of messy and needs to be cleaned as well. Sometimes when I'm done with the painting, I still fiddle with it or I take it home to the studio and work on it for a while. Uh, it's important to look at it, have it up around the house, and see what needs to be corrected or changed. I love painting outdoors. In fact, I do plein air painting, and the definition of plein air is that I'm painting outdoors in the plein air. This is a word first invented by the French Impressionists when paint was put into tubes for the first time and they could go outside and paint. I like it and it's a very specific type of painting and I like being in nature. Thank you for joining me and I hope you'll follow along on some of my other travels in the future. Have a great day.